it has been one battle to another, and by the look of things, it seems like the battle is not going to end anytime soon. Your health, finances, family, and business are all under attack. It seems like when you win one battle, the enemy comes up with another one. If you are to be completely honest, you are really fed up with what is happening, and a part of you just wants to quit. You do not understand why God is allowing all this to happen. Hasn't He promised to always be there for us? Well, you are not alone. We are living in times when the enemy has intensified his attack on the body of Christ. While everyone is fighting for their freedom, Christianity is being suppressed from every side. The enemy is attacking our faith publicly, and he's also doing it privately. But why is it that way? Here are three reasons why. Number one, his time is up. A look into what is happening all around us, and you will notice that we are living in the end times. I know you've heard this so many times, but we are really at the end of the end. Most of what is happening right now is proof that our Lord Jesus can come back any time. So what does it have to do with the enemy fighting you so hard? The Bible says that many will fall away from the faith. But the Spirit says expressively that in later times some will fall away from the faith, paying attention to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. 1 Timothy 4.1 The enemy is fighting you so hard that you can fall away from your faith. But know that even though he fights you, he cannot win as long as you're committed to your Heavenly Father. It may seem like he's winning right now, but the truth is the enemy has no power over you. Stand firm and hold on to your faith till the end. Number two, you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Since you gave your life to Christ and chose to live in a way that is pleasing to God, you have become a big threat to the kingdom of darkness. The enemy is keen on destroying you so that you can stop causing havoc in his kingdom. See, when you preach the word of God and lead people to Christ, it angers the enemy because you're spoiling his plan on earth, so he attacks you to derail your faith and zeal for God. Number three, you belong to God and the devil hates you. The devil hates Jesus and anyone that has given his life to him. But here's the thing, Jesus has bought you at a price, and that means you are victorious. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20 says, For you were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. The enemy is fighting a losing battle. Know your true identity in Christ and the things God has given to you through his son Jesus for you to win against the wiles of the enemy. In conclusion, God's people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If you don't know what God has already given through his son Jesus, then the enemy is going to beat you every time and win. Read your Bible and pray every day so that you can be able to be in tune with God and know what rightfully belongs to you. Thanks for watching. If you have a prayer request, please comment it below.